So guys, today I'm going to do a video on The Last of Us Part 1 with the RTX 3080. We're going to be setting it up at 1080p at the Ultra Settings. Alright, here we are in the Options menu, and then Display, 1080p, and here we are in the Graphics menu at 1080p, Ultra Settings, VRAM is over the limit, unfortunately, but if it's bad, I'll turn it down to the High Settings. Um, but yeah, no RT, just straight up the Ultra Settings, and here are the Settings. There we go, looking good. Let's jump into it and see what we can get. Alright, let's get going. As you can see, we're sitting at 90 FPS pretty much outside. This area has a lot of foliage in it, so it will be more intensive. And VRAM, look at that, 9.7 gigs. It's already maxed out on this card. But this card only has 10 gigs anyway, so if you have more than this, you should be fine at the ultra settings regardless. Now once I enable RT, that's also very VRAM intensive, so it might just like tank the performance completely. But I guess we'll see as we go through. Yeah, wide FPS range, indoors, obviously easy to run, outdoors, far more intensive. So we gained, ooh, never mind, still sitting in the 80s indoors even. The game does stutter occasionally as well as I'm panning the camera around. Doesn't feel the smoothest as you can see in the frame time graph, but I think overall it's doing a fine job. And we obviously have the choice of lowering the settings to the higher preset to have a better performing game. Stay crouched to sneak up on the enemies and press E to grab them. Alright, I got it. What's up, dude? You're done. Okay. Jesus. You guys good? Where are we going, upstairs? Oh, maybe I should just kill this guy before I go. She's waiting for me. Oh! Oh no! Can help me! Oh! Is she not gonna help? She's just sitting there watching me. Well, I'm all out of ammo and we're screwed, I think, guys. <laughs> no ammo left. The aiming feels kind of weird. So, yeah, I would say that on average, at 1080p, we're gonna be sitting in the 80s up to the 100s, depending on where we are. But I think outdoors, you're gonna be sitting pretty much in the 70s and 80s with this card. The game looks fantastic, though, even at 1080p. Looks very clear. Graphics looks amazing. Ooh, look at that. Loving it. Our system RAM is climbing up to 20 gigs now. I think it was at 19 gigs before. So it is slowly climbing up. And VRAM has dropped down to 9.5 from 9.7. I am a bit worried though for 440p and 4K. And RT to be honest. Because VRAM, hey, it's already cranked up to the max with this card. And uh, playing at a high resolution or enabling RT will use up more VRAM. So FPS might just tank completely. Alright, do we jump across? I don't want to jump the gun and fall to my death. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause the game here, save, and enable RT, come back and see what we can do. Alright, here we are back in the game with RT enabled. Man, the game took forever to load with RT on. I don't know, it took like twice as long. But surprisingly, the game is running fine, sitting at 70 FPS so far. I guess we don't have any reflections yet, so it might be more intensive as we go through. But. Yeah, the game's running fine. There's no stuttering, there's no lagging yet. Can we go through here? There we go. Okay, seems like it. Your ass up here. Let's I'm trying, man. Look at that. I'm getting close. Press A and D to balance. Those are the classic PS3 days. PS3 controls, we gotta use the... Make sure there ain't any the gyroscope on the controller. Ooh, this feels very stuttery now. Ooh. Damn, that did not feel good at all. That felt awful. Went from the 90s down to the 60s. Not the greatest. Alright, here we are at 440p. FPS is down into the 60s already? Oh, man. Okay. That's a bit surprising. We were sitting, what, in the 90s before? Now we're down into the high 50s slash low 60s. Might have to use some upscaling method. Ever saw the DLSS. I'm not sure if DLSS is in this game. I'm sure it is, but um, yeah, we can use FSR obviously. If it's not, what'd you say? Oh damn! <laughs> she doesn't play around. You got the bullets. You give me some, guys. Zero bullets. I'm gonna sneak past this guy. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I'm gonna go to the left a little bit. Oh, fist fight time. Oh, counter. Let's go. I <laughs> like how his friend is just sitting there. Look at him. What are you doing? Oh. Where'd your head go? 
And you're done. Dude, eight bullets. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Do you have some ammo on you as well, please? None. Useless idiot. Alright. Let's keep running. Feeling a bit stuttery again in this area, guys. Yeah, once you fall from the 70s into the low 60s, it feels awful. Just immediately. Hey, up. Why is there a giant... Okay. Right, well. Who designed this place? There's a... <laughs> What's the point of the barbed wire if it doesn't go all the way? So far the FPS range is between the low 60s slash the high 70s. Pretty decent I guess, but at the same time, not the greatest. We're gonna be fighting here again. Yeah, it seems like it. More Roberts guys. Don't worry, I got bullets this time. I can just knock them out. I agree with you. Oh, there's more of them. I should have thought about that before shooting them. He dead? Oh! Hey, put your hands up. Hey. Why are you running? Oh! Man, I just saw his head blow off. That's just. Those blood effects are kind of crazy, to be honest. Looks <laughs> looks really good. Ooh, key. Okay, now with RT enabled, we're still sitting at 60 FPS, so not too much of a downgrade in performance. But as we know. In some areas, it will be far more intensive, and FPS will tank, and the game will feel more stuttery. Can I hit him in the head? No, stand still, man. I was trying to hit you in the head. Come on. Come back around. I can reach. It's not gonna reach, is it? Oh, hello. Boom, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, I missed. Get down, boy. Ah, there we go. That was kind of tough to hit. But yeah, surprisingly, not too intensive on the RT side. And I think at this point, I will also test that DLSS as well, just so we can see what we can get at Fun for the P. Peak. Oh, you're done for that. <laughs> a border knife to a gunfight, guys. That's what he gets. Look at the reflections, too. These are RT reflections, right? Yes, they are. Look at that. You can see the object, even if it's covered up. Okay, maybe it's not, actually. So is it a mix of RT and screen space reflections? Because I'm covering this object up and it disappears. But the thing on the left here still sticks around. So this object here is ray traced, but the barrels are screen spaced. Again, if I cover them up, they disappear, but this object still remains. It is kind of interesting. That's probably why it's not as intensive if I was going to guess. It's a mix of both. But that's just a guess so far. I'm not actually 100% on that yet. Now using DLSS at the quality preset. Getting 80 FPS, a decent FPS jump. Hmm, the floor looks kind of weird when I'm moving around. Look at that. Yeah, the lighting looks a bit weird on it, for sure. The clarity is still there, it's still very sharp. I like that look a lot. And we gained what, like 10 FPS on top of what we had before. So a decent FPS jump. Ooh, another shank. We got two now. That's pretty good. Eh. I think we just go for it, to be honest. Being careful. That's not my style. Another shank. We got three. These guys are just laying it around. What's up, dude? You're getting shanked. Oof. Get this guy out of here. I think the aiming feels harder because of the sway. Because look at this. His hand just moves too much, so I feel like, I think that's why the aiming is a bit harder on keyboard and mouse at 60 FPS. It doesn't feel as responsive, and your aim is just moving all over the place. So, it's just extra tough. Alright, finally, playing the game at 4K, and would you look at that. Oof, that was a bit of a rough patch there. 4 FPS for a little bit, and then back up into the 30s, okay. RAM usage is up to 25 gigs from 20 gigs from before. I know a way around this. Man. Very intensive so far, and this is no RT yet. So once we enable RT, the FPS might tank, you know, by what like 10 FPS again. Ooh, look at that! That is awful. I misclicked, and the game started lagging. Climb up, guys. This is not good. Wow, sitting in the 60s almost right now. What is going on? Did the game just enable DLSS by itself? Where's the options? Options, display. No DLSS. It's running at native 4K. Wow. 
Went from the 30s up to the 50s now. And back down into the 30s again. The lighting looks incredible in this game. Look at that. It looks so good. Did a really good job with the graphics. And the game as well, obviously. It's a really good game. It's my first time playing it though, so... Not sure what to expect. Go to sleep, my friend. Go to sleep. Okay, let's enable DLSS and then run it back once more. We're gonna use the performance mode. We need all the health we can get. Now we're sitting at 60 to 70 FPS from what the 40, so we gain 20 FPS with performance DLSS. Quite fantastic. Alright, so so far the game is feeling much better. Not as stuttery as before. FPS is still falling down to the 50s and 40s, unfortunately, but. We are able to get 60 FPS now, but it's not very consistent. The game's quality looks pretty good as well. Looks very clear, very sharp. Can't really see any blurriness, which is fantastic. But yeah, if you want to play the game at 4K, I would recommend you to play at the high settings or the medium settings instead. At that point, you should be able to get 60 FPS much easier and should be a more stable experience overall as well. Alright, now finally playing with RT enabled and DLSS, we are able to get, in this area, 70 FPS. Game is feeling very stuttery though, oh my god. Very stuttery at this point. Uh, but yeah, overall, the game runs pretty well at the ultra settings. At 4K, it's a bit questionable. I would play at medium or high settings at that point and use DLSS. Now, at 440p, you can get 60 FPS for the most part with occasional dips into the 50s. DLSS looks great as well at that point, so you can use that to get 70 FPS and above. And finally, at 1080p, the game will run just fine. It's very easy at 1080p. Should get 80 FPS and above quite easily. Just make sure you have a powerful enough CPU or you will get bottlenecked. Alright, that's about it guys. Thank you so much for you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys hopefully in a couple hours for the Steam Deck video of The Last of Us. See you guys there.